going on guys johnny on the track back with another video um apologize for the bad lighting here if if you're watching on youtube that's johnny on the track on youtube but you also might be just listening um via the podcast feed through the nascar betting preview show appreciate the nascar betting preview show as always wednesdays twitter spaces 8 p.m eastern you could listen to the uh, betting preview show and then you can go like you're finding this on the podcast feed and um hear all the the guys that are associated with that, um, giving our bets for the week, cups, uh, cup stuff was what I do, but um, we've got trucks, we've got Xfinity, um, we've got it all. So um, really cool to be a part of that. Um, and if you're listening on the podcast side, definitely subscribe to um, YouTube, and that's Johnny on the Track on YouTube. And then if you're on the YouTube side, definitely give a, a like, a follow, a, a thumbs up, um, five star, whatever, however that is on the podcast side through the NASCAR betting preview show podcast feed. Um, so yeah, just do that. Um, and then for me, if you're looking for more stuff for me, Johnny on the track on action network at J O T T underscore podcast on Twitter. Um, that's how you find my bets, my hot takes, all that stuff. All right. With that, let's get into it. Um, it is about to be a wild weekend here at daytona so much riding on the line for every single driver in the field there is so much on the line from a regular season um points championship between hamlin and truex is it close not really but there's still something there um from the middle of the pack uh for guys that are already in the playoffs fighting for those extra playoff points they're all separated by you know such a small amount of points so um, they're going to be looking for the points or for points. You got to uh, you look at the playoff battle between Bubba Wallace and Ty Gibbs. There's you know a, enough points where maybe Ty, if Bubba were to wreck early, maybe Ty can get there and and you know and um and lock himself into the playoffs. If we don't have a new winner, if there is a new winner, you could have a guy like Priest, Briscoe, um, Eric Jones, Daniel Suarez, like whoever it may be, could lock themselves in. Heck. A guy like, uh, you know, at, at the bottom of the point standings, like um, Justin Haley. I mean, uh, you know, he's shown speed at super speedways. So there is a ton here from top to bottom. Um, and I think this is, it, it always is, but this to me, the weather looks good. Knock on wood here. So I think we're going to have a good race, a race that will um, not have to be affected by, you know, a, a delay or of, of any sort. Um, it is Florida. So I guess you never, you never really know. Right. Um, but it looks like we're going to have good weather. And I just think this event as always is just going to be just wild um, and crazy in so many ways. Just so many guys that want to lock themselves into the playoffs um, to compete for a championship. And um, yeah, so let's get into the bets now. Um, I think, me personally, I think there's two ways this is going to go. I think this is just going to be absolute madness. We might have a couple overtime restarts, and we might have a guy um, that is not in the playoffs that locks himself in. Austin Sindrick, maybe a name. Um, you know, Chase Elliott, obviously, a guy that I think a lot of people want to see. Maybe it's Al Marola. Uh, Denny Hamlin thought it was Chase Briscoe on his podcast. So um, I could see it going like that. And then I could also see just kind of hectic and madness at the end. But a guy like Byron swoops in or a guy like Logano um, swoops in and just takes the win away from from somebody. And you're like, Byron, a sixth win on the season. What? Um, so I, I think that that's how I see this going. I really do. I think there's two outcomes here. Um, and to be honest with you, I think it's going to lean towards somebody not in the playoffs is going to lock themselves in. I really do. Um, I really, really do. I think what we've seen with the fact um, that, you know, it's winning in at this point, this race is just, there's just so much on the line for so many guys. Um, they're going to do what they have to do. Right. So um, that's what I think we're going to see. So with that, um, here's some of the, the bets I'm, I'm giving out this week. 
my personal favorite bet, to be honest with you, um, as I look into Sunday is Austin Cindric. I think the Fords are going to be the best at Daytona. They've been the best on super speedways. They've led the most laps um, in terms of, you know, speed. Uh, they've won a few polls. And I, I just think that the Fords are going to be very, very fast. And like I said, they've shown that at super speedways. Um, you look at a guy like Busher, Keselowski, Logano, um, Priest, Almarola, Kevin Harvick was up there leading laps, uh, I believe at Dega. So, you know, a lot here, right, with the Fords. And I look at Austin Sindrick, and he's got two great teammates um, that are going to help him if he's up front, you know, and, and push him to the front um, to win this thing. Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney, two of the best in the business at this sort of racetrack. Um, if they put Sindrick in, that's three Penske cars. That's all three Penske cars um, that locked themselves into the playoffs, which I think would be a big deal for Penske to do that two years in a row. Because last year, if you remember, um, they had all three cars in the playoffs. Cindric won the 500. Um, Blaney pointed his way in. And uh, Logano obviously ended up winning the championship. So I think this would be a, a big, big win if um, if Ford can get another car in. And of course, Penske can get uh, their third car in. So there's bet number one. Then I'm going to look at bet number two. Um, and I think it's the chalk play that a lot of people are, are going to play. I always say on super speedways, you're going to bet small to win big. Um, that's just how these things work. That's I, I should trademark that line. I think I should get a shirt that says bet small, win big, Johnny on the track, super speedways. Um, but that's just how we do it. And so um, another guy that obviously has really good odds this weekend because it is a super speedway is chase Elliott. Now everyone and their mother wants to see chase in the playoffs, Chevrolet, NASCAR sponsors, NASCAR, NASCAR fans. Um, these sport is better when superstars and yes, chase Elliott is a superstar are in the playoffs competing for championships. That's that's just how it goes. Um, I think this would really, really hurt the viewership if Chase Elliott is not running for a championship. NASCAR needs this. They need it. A lot is riding on this weekend for somehow, uh, you know, by a, an absolute prayer that Chase Elliott wins this thing at Daytona. Um, now it is Daytona, so obviously we know literally anything can happen. But I think team orders are going to be strict. You get that nine car in. I think Chevy orders are going to be strict. If there's a Chevy up there, you bet your ass you're pushing Chase Elliott. Um, I think this is the storybook fairy tale that NASCAR needs, quite frankly. In a year that's been good, it's been really solid racing. We've had a lot of parity this year, even with a guy like Byron having five wins. We've seen you know, Michael McDowell win, right? And um, obviously Stenhouse, a smaller team winning the 500. Look at the emergence of Chris Buescher. So it's been good, but NASCAR still needs that superstar. And that man is Chase Elliott. And I think he needs to be in the playoffs. I think you have to take the bet. I just I just think you have to take the bet. Um, how about Bubba and Ty? H how about those guys? Um, they're, they're the only two Toyotas in the whole series right now that are not in the playoffs. So I think... If one of those guys were to wreck early, let's say Ty wrecks early, um, or for that matter, Bubble wrecks early, right? Then it's going to come down to winning or or maybe Ty could point his way in. And I think a lot of the Toyotas, because they're a smaller group, will work to help one of those guys win this race or, you know, have a good finish, right? And point their way in. So maybe it's not winning. Maybe if you want to do the win, I, I probably will with both those guys. Um, but I also think top five and top three, I also wouldn't be surprised. Maybe if you have them on your book, Ty Gibbs to win stage one, like he, he needs to win stage one and Joe Gibbs racing, I assume is going to help him win stage one with the exception of, it seems like Denny Hamlin. Um, but you look at bell, you look at Truex, um, they can help push Ty to the front. So maybe he's a stage one winner. Maybe he's a stage two winner. I like that stuff. Um, and I think both these guys are going to finish well. One, because Bubba just kind of has to. He has to just run a clean race. Um, he needs to be there at the end. So I think a Bubba top 10, a Bubba top five. And then, of course, a tie, um, you know, top five as well. Because same thing, like he needs all the points he can get. Um, you know, and if he doesn't have that at the end, if there's no way he can make it up, he needs to win. Um, so 
I think the Toyotas are going to work together, um, you know, to get one of these guys in. That's that's what a lot of this race is going to come down to, right? Like manufacturers helping each other to get, you know, said driver into the playoffs. Um, and then I look at SHR. Zero wins this year. Only one car in the playoffs in Kevin Harvick. They had two last year. You threw in Briscoe. Um, again, Fords, right? Very strong at all the super speedways. That includes guys like Priest, guys like Harvick, and Almarola. Almarola um, won the pole at, I believe it was Atlanta. Um, so, and he's he led laps in the 500. He led laps at Atlanta. I believe he led laps at Talladega. So, Almarola is a very good super speedway racer. Um, as well as Priest. Priest has a lot of good results at Daytona. Um, but zero wins this year, right? And at this point, like, I, like, I don't know if SHR, like, I, I think they could go winless this year if they don't win here or they don't win at Talladega because as much as I want to see Harvick win in his final year, like, I, I, I don't know. And I look at two places where maybe SHR could squeeze out a win. Bristol Knight. I think the Bristol night race, I think one of those guys could win. Um, and then I think Martinsville at the end, but at that point, like it's going to be so far down in, in the um, you know, that's the final race before the championship race. It's just like, I, I don't really see a non-playoff driver winning that race. Um, but so my point is, I think SHR, if they are going to win a race, this is a great spot to do it, to get a win, maybe lock another car into the playoffs. Maybe it's a Briscoe, Almarola, Priest. So um, whether you want to throw it on those guys or throw it on the team to win, I think SHR to win is a fair bet. Um, let's see if I can find that real quick. I apologize. I don't have that number up, and it might not be loaded yet on my book. Uh, oh, maybe it is. Winning team. Here we go. Uh, Stuart Haas, 15-2. to two. So I believe that's 750, is it? Yeah, plus 750 for them to win. So I think that's a fair bet as well. Um, that's a weird bet. Eric Elm Roller, Denny Hamlin to win the race. It's just an either to win bet. Very strange. Um, real quick, just want to look through some top 10 stuff that I'm going to call out that I like here. Um, oh, geez. I guess I don't like some of this stuff. Plus 170 for Corey LaJoy, top 10. I think that's fair. Um, Ryan Priest, I mentioned his name, plus 140. I think that's fair. Um, BJ McLeod is back-to-back -to -back top 10s in this race just because, again, it gets so hectic. Um, that's 13 to 2. So, you know, maybe there's something there. So that's plus 650. Still, I I mean, I don't love that number. Uh, and then a lot of these guys, right, for top 10s are right around the um, even money, if you will. Dylan, plus 110. Stenhouse, plus 110. Chastain, Reddick, plus 110. Then you look at Harvick, Gibbs, 120, Briscoe, Jones, McDowell, 130. Um, so a lot of guys are around that um, one-to-one -one ratio, if you will. Um, but, yeah, look, I, other than that, I think maybe an Eric Jones is a guy that could steal a win. Um, but we do have to remember they're changing manufacturers. So is Chevy going to say, like, let's help Eric Jones get in the playoffs when they're kind of like a lame duck, if you will? Um, but I do think he's a very talented super speedway racer. I feel like he's due, uh, for one of these races. And maybe if you're looking back at like those, those kind of guys that could steal it, Byron, Logano, Hamlin, I think those are names of like, as chaos ensues, you might just see a guy like a Logano swoop in and win this thing. Um, so that's what I've got this weekend. Again, if you want, you know, there, there will be stuff, right? There will be stuff I add on action network. So give me a follow on that. That's Johnny on the track on Action Network um, and at J-O-T uh, T underscore podcast on Twitter. Um, appreciate the support. I think we're, we're going to have a really good Sunday. I think it's going to be fun to watch. I wouldn't go crazy on betting on this race. I really wouldn't. Um, I think, you know, more just enjoy it. Um, I say that now, but I'll probably be an idiot and bet a lot. Um, but I, I hope I don't. <laughs> uh, but again, bet small to win big. That's the bottom line. Uh, and we will win big this Sunday. So let's have a weekend. Thanks guys.